Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can fix the this page seems to not exist error on WordPress. So let's get right into it. Now this uh, error is just the classic 404 error, which means the page has not been found. And usually the culprit is permalinks or your HT access file. So I'll be showing you guys some methods with which you can fix it. Now, of course, you should always try first clearing your browser history and cookies uh, and your cache. And once you delete these, uh, try reloading the site and it should fix it. Now, uh, this is, of course, different for every uh, web browser. So find the uh, option that works for your browser and you should be good. If that doesn't work, then you can go ahead and troubleshoot a bit more detailed. Uh, you can set up your permalinks, just go into your dashboard, go into settings and permalinks, uh, and then select whichever uh, well, structure you want, you can set it to default, and that should be good. Uh, and um, if you're already on a custom structure or any other other structure, uh, you're going to want to set uh, the uh, option back to default, save the changes, then revert back to your structure and save the changes again. And that should revert everything and you should be good. Other than that, you can restore your HD access file by going uh, into your FTP client or file manager if you have it, uh, going into public HTML, downloading the HD access file, then deleting it. And once you delete that, you'll be able to go ahead and do this pretty much. Just go ahead and uh, change something and save the changes again, and that should fix your problem. Uh, you can also just edit the HD access file yourself if you want to, and that should be uh, a fix as well. You can uh, put in this code, which is the basic WordPress code, and that should be good. You can also set up a 301 redirect by using a redirection plugin. Uh, just go into the dashboard, click on tools and redirection and complete uh, the setup and add a new redirection and that should also fix your problems and other than that you can also disable uh, the plugins or the theme the way you disable this is you go into wordpress go into plugins and go into all plugins or install plugins select bulk actions select deactivate and apply and apply them one by one to uh, see which plugin is not working correctly you can also do this with your theme just change it to another theme you can do it through the ftp again you can uh, change the files uh the plugin file name and that should also deactivate all of them you can also change the themes just download the theme file that you're currently using delete it and revert to another version if you want to and that should also fix your problems and that is basically all there is to it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys in another video